Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I wanted to do a quick video to address an issue that I've been encountering over the last year or so. And basically, it's about people, so called experts, claiming that ledger devices are not safe to use, or ledger devices are backdoored, or Ledger is extracting people's private keys without their knowledge. So I don't work for Ledger on my channel. I do reviews of lots of different hardware wallets, and I try to bring you as much information as I can about how to use them and their strengths and weaknesses. But it really bothers me when I drop a Ledger video and then I get people in the comments telling me I will never use Ledger again. I don't trust Ledger. Ledger is compromised. Ledger is stealing people's private keys. I'm not buying any of that stuff, but it really bothers me when I work hard on an objective video and I get attacked by a bunch of never Ledger trolls and they do a pretty good job of scaring newcomers. I would like to address this issue rationally, and uh, let's see if we can figure out where the truth lies. So let's start with the claim. Ledger is compromised. Ledger firmware contains a backdoor Ledger can extract your private key without your consent or knowledge. Ledger software slash firmware is not open source, so you can't trust them. So let's go ahead and break these claims down. I'll focus on the first two, and then we'll talk about the last one towards the end. So first of all, as far as Ledger firmware being some sort of backdoor or having some malicious software in there, uh, no one has produced proof of any malicious code in the Ledger OS. No Ledger Insider has come forward with any documented proof of malicious code. No Black Hat hacker has ever presented proof of malicious code on the dark web. We have no White Hat hackers that have ever produced any proof of malicious code. And we have no government whistleblowers that have come forward with any documented proof of malicious code in ledgers. So basically, there is no proof whatsoever that ledger software is compromised. Let's go over to that next claim that ledger is extracting your private key without your knowledge and potentially draining your wallet. Okay, there's no proof of that. No documented proof whatsoever that Ledger has ever drained anyone's wallet. No verifiable documented case of a Ledger wallet being mysteriously drained. You'll hear a lot of people online claiming that their Ledger was mysteriously drained, but after a little bit of investigation, it's pretty easy to determine that they compromised their seed phrase in some way or form. I have never seen a case that has ended up being documented proof that their wallet was drained. Blockchain analysis could easily tell if transfers were made from user wallets to accounts controlled by Ledger. Now let's follow up this whole wallets being drained uh, and uh, software being compromised with a little bit of the testing that goes into Ledger devices. Ledger devices have an EAL5 plus or an EAL6 plus certification depending on which device you get. Ledger devices are independently certified according to the security requirements specified in the CSPN or first level security certification, security certification scheme. Ledger has a bounty program for independent hackers. Ledger has an in-house attack lab called the Ledger Dojon. So with all of this rigorous testing, it would be trivial to determine if a Ledger device or Ledger Live is serendipitously sending out information onto the internet without the user's knowledge or consent. And none of these testing processes 
have ever produced any proof of a ledger device extracting a private key or executing some kind of malicious code. All right, so since they have no evidence whatsoever for these claims, uh, let's take a look at their argument, right? Their claim is Ledger is compromised, right? We're going to include the, the backdoor firmware and the, the private key extraction in this claim, right? Ledger is compromised. So if you ask them for proof, how do they back this claim up? Okay, well, the first thing they'll tell you is, my claim is true because Ledger is not open source and there's no way to know. Okay, that may be true, but that still is not any proof to back up your claim. Just telling someone, hey, there's no way to find out, it's not proof of your claim. You're basically just sowing doubt with an evidence-free claim. How about this one? My claim is true because you can't prove it's not. Neither of these claims require a shred of proof. They're basically just sophistry and pretzel logic. None of these arguments prove their claim. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the trust issues involved in that third point about Ledger not being fully open source. Ledger indeed does not have fully open source software. That was part of their business model. I won't go into a long explanation of why that is, but secrecy is important in security. Most security devices are secret by design. But let's talk a little bit about those trust issues. Every single hardware wallet on the market requires some level of trust in the company. This is just a fact of life. There is no purity in hardware wallets. Doesn't matter what wallet it is, there's always some level of trust. Now, people might come out and say, oh, this wallet is open, is fully open source, and this wallet is fully open source. And yet, true, their software might, but any hardware wallet that employs a secure element chip requires a level of trust on the part of the end user because they are secret by design. And Wallets that are fully open source that have their open source architecture, like Trezor, have their own security issues. So a good hardware wallet tries to minimize this trust component, right? Make it as small as possible. Also, the open source model does not fit well with hardware wallets. Open source is great for giant software projects like Linux, uh, where there are a lot of eyes on the code and a lot of people that understand the code. But when it comes to hardware wallets, we're dealing with very small specialized code base that not a lot of people understand. Also, hardware wallets have a hardware and software component. They, there's a real world component with crypto hardware wallets. So they don't really lend themselves well to the open source model. So as I mentioned, I'll put some links up to ledger.com, uh, their article about secure element chips, about uh, security certification and what it involves. I'll put a link to the Ledger Dojon for white hat hackers. And of course, I will link to their bounty program. So I hope this short video opened your eyes to all of the issues involved in hardware wallets. And the next time someone tells you that you can't trust Ledger or Ledgers are compromised or Ledgers are stealing your secret key, then you might want to just ask them, prove it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.